What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to talk about several different horror topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Friday the 13th. We'll be talking about The Strangers. We'll be talking about Final Destination 6. And the last thing we're going to touch on is this Scream 7 cast rumor that has the internet going crazy, at least within the Scream fandom on Twitter. Just to start off here, we're going to talk about the Friday the 13th franchise. So Jason Blum hasn't given up on Jason Voorhees, it seems. We know that the Peacock Crystal Lake show from Brian Fuller is on the way, but what about a new movie? Jason Blum recently revealed to Collider he's still trying to do Friday the 13th. He said Friday the 13th is not a Blumhouse project, but I'm still trying to will it into being one. It's just a piece of IP I've always loved. And then he also mentioned James Wan during this. He said, and James Wan and Atomic Monster are very passionate about it. And I think we would have them shepherd it for us. That would be a lot of fun. Honestly, I feel like we hear about Blumhouse wanting Jason every six months at this point, and that's the only update we get on a Friday the 13th movie, is that Blumhouse wants to do it. Sean Cunningham's cameo bio convinced some of us, my, myself included a while back, that a new movie would drop in 2023, nothing came of that. But then, my thoughts are this, the mention of James Wan directing a Jason movie does sound interesting only because I'm thinking about his work on Malignant, that and Juan has just proven himself to be a great asset to the horror genre over the past two decades or so at this point. Sinistelf did tweet out recently, Blumhouse wants Friday the 13th, but they're not the only ones. Cunningham's hang up is he wants more creative control. He's been overseeing a couple different writers on his own script, presumably with the goal of independent financing. I'm certain the mama's boy will return to slash more teens at some point in the near future. We should all just be thankful that we're getting that Peacock show from Brian Fuller. And what they're getting, getting ready to cook up and start filming in the summer because it looks like Jason and a new film is just something that we're going to have to keep on waiting for many years. So jumping into The Strangers. So second clip for The Strangers Chapter 1 that dropped on Friday after that trailer. Collider dropped this clip of Madeline Pesh's character absolutely devouring the scenery. Or should I say Madeline Pesh devouring the scenery as her and her fiance, I think he is, were hiding under the floorboards. She managed to press her hand down on a nail and the music is blaring while pinup girl, I think this is, it could be the other girl, Dollface, stalks them from above. It was packed with so much suspense and tension just thanks to the music, the looks on Madeline Pesh's face and her fiance. The clip alone did more for me than the trailer. I've also seen the theories online about the line being changed to because you're here instead of because you were home. The change of the line could indeed be related to the town being in on it this time around, but the trailer makes it so obvious that that's the route they're going to take that I hope the film at least plays with it a little bit better without making it so obvious that we're going towards that end result. But that clip has me excited to see what else Madeline does in this role because her facial expressions were very convincing and I could feel her pain from that nail and the terror because she's trying to be quiet to avoid something worse than a nail piercing her hand. But what did you guys think about that clip from The Strangers? And are you excited about the movie? Did you like the trailer? Why or why not? Let me know down below. Now we're going to shift gears into talking about Final Destination. So Final Destination 6 is expected to begin filming this week according to outlets based in Canada and the Directors Guild of Canada. We know death is after this woman named Esther and her family because Esther stopped a tower collapse 60 years ago or so, saving so many different lives and people who had families that never should have existed. So death has been working its way up to Esther and her family. And Esther's 18 year old grandchild, Stephanie, is going to be leading the story. And it's been reported by Bloody Disgusting that Tony Todd's William Bloodworth character will have their origins explored like never before, which could hurt the character's mystique depending on how they do it if they aren't careful. This is the only set image that I can share since it was on the cinematographer's Instagram page and we still don't have official cast outside of Todd. However, I will remind people that Rebecca Staub or Stolb was rumored to be involved last year before the strikes. I suspect her involvement may have been changed thanks to those strikes and schedule conflicts making her drop out along with other possible stars who were already cast but things had to be shaped up or reshaped thanks to the strikes and people not being able to commit to the project anymore. We'll just have to wait and see because filming was supposed to start today. Nothing's come out from the set, but I know that the two directors, they've been in Canada scouting locations and there's been crew members that have been posting in Canada 
So filming is going to start this month still, it seems. If it's not this week, it's still going to start this month. It seems that's the case. And hopefully, yes, we will find out who these stars are. If we don't find out from any official outlets, I'm certain we could find out by just investigating and playing sleuth with the behind the scenes set photos. And I'm sure a lot of people are going to start DMing me anyway, because I seem to get DMs about productions that I don't ask for. Diving into Scream 7. Last thing we're going to touch on, Scream 7. Beyond the Mask put out a video. Again, it's just a rumor. Never said it was official. Just a rumor. I'm just wanting to share my thoughts on this rumor. Scream 7 potentially having a new cast altogether. No core four back. No legacy characters back. As I mentioned in another video, it'd be quite funny if that were the route that happened. Because then you're still going to be seeing that argument of if Sam or Sydney should come back. And it really wouldn't matter at that point in time because Spyglass is actively going to be moving on and doing the cheapest thing possible so that Scream 7 can be profitable. And I really don't see an issue with it creatively of them just doing a whole new story set in the same world. That's how the IP is going to stay alive. That's how the IP is going to remain attractive to newer audiences. And yeah, it won't be attractive to someone like myself who's obviously going to grow tired of seeing new movies that don't relate to the characters I grew up with. Yeah, I'm probably going to check out at some point. But if this is the route they take, then so be it. I don't really see the big deal behind it. Other than, of course, it's still very disgusting what happened with Melissa Barrera. It's disgusting what happened to Nev Campbell in the past with this company. It's disgusting what happened with Jenna Ortega in the past. And I get it. I understand the business ins and outs of it. That doesn't change the fact that I still can think it's fucking disgusting. But you guys can let me know what you think about Scream 7 possibly having a new cast down in the comment section below. Do you see it as a red flag? Do you see it as a big deal? Do you not see it as a big deal? As long as the same stories from 1 through 6 or canon and it's just kind of spinning off and doing its own thing like the way they have been hyping up Ghostface ever since Scream 2. Ghostface has grown beyond these characters that we've been following so closely. So telling a story with Ghostface and other characters with someone else donning the Ghostface mask targeting said characters, that's not too far-fetched. Especially when you introduce characters like Greg and Jason in the sixth Scream movie who died at the start of that film. But look at what they were doing. They apparently were active in Georgia. Yes, they wanted to finish Richie's film as they put it, but what were they up to in Georgia? That wasn't really ever specified, I don't think. So they can't be the only two out there that are obsessed with Ghostface and have this urge to possibly start a spree. But let me know what you guys think about this again down in the comment section below. What do you think about all of these updates? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. The next video I drop this week is probably going to be related to The Purge and the fact that The Purge 6 is supposed to be the last one because they've said that in the past. I'm just going to talk about The Purge franchise in my next video, most likely. But with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video video